Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how to sell the gift cards on your website using a free plugin. So we are going to use a free plugin and we are going to create gift cards that you can sell on your website. Now, this is an example of a gift card created using the free plugin. People will be able to buy these kind of gift cards and they will be able to send these gift cards to their friends and relatives. Their friends and relatives will get the email with the gift card coupon code and they will be able to redeem these gift cards on your website. So ultimately this will help to increase the sale on your website. So let's see how we can create gift cards using free plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we have WooCommerce on this website. Now we are going to install a free plugin that will give you an option to sell gift cards on your website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Now here search for free gift cards for WooCommerce. Now here you will see some different free plugins that you can use. However, in this video, we are going to install this free gift cards plugin for WooCommerce. You can see it here, ultimate gift cards for WooCommerce, create, redeem and manage digital gift certificates with personalized template. And in the upcoming videos, we will discuss about the other free gift cards plugin also. So let's click on install now. This one is created by WP Swings. Click on activate. So the plugin has been activated and here you will see the option gift cards. Click on it. Now here you will see four different templates are given in the free plugin. We will go through these templates later. Let's go to the settings first. So this is the overview, go to general tab. Now first you will need to enable the WooCommerce gift card. So check this box. If you want to enable the tax on the gift cards, you can enable the tax here. Now here enable listing shop page. So these gift cards will be listed on the shop page. So you will need to check this box so that it will be shown on the shop page also. Individual use, allow gift card to use individually. So check this box if the gift card coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other gift cards or coupons. So I'm going to check it free shipping so if you want this gift card to allow free shipping you can check this box i'm going to leave it as it is now gift card coupon length so this will be the length of the coupon code so i'm going to leave it as it is on five this will be the gift card prefix let's say this website is about param freelance or whatever your website name is you can use the prefix there so it will be shown on each gift card so i'm going to make it as pf gift card expiry after days so i'm going to make it 30 days so after 30 days they will not be able to use this coupon code so if you want you can make it 365 days so within a year they can use this gift card coupon code now minimum spend so they will need to spend minimum 2000 or maximum 4000 so within this amount range they will be able to use this coupon code so i can delete this also so there is no maximum so minimum 2000 is the requirement to use this gift card now gift card number of times how many times this coupon can be used before gift card is void keep value zero for unlimited use so i'm going to leave it as it is click save changes now let's go to the next app product if you want to exclude the sale items you can check this box so check this box if the gift card coupon should not apply to the items on sale so you can check this box and the sale items will be excluded from the gift card usage exclude products if you want to exclude certain products from using this gift card you can enter the products here if these products are in the cart then they will not be able to use this gift card coupon exclude product category so instead of using single product you can also exclude the product category from the list so i'm not going to make any changes here now let's go to the next that is email template so this will be the template of the email that will be sent to the user so you are buying the gift card for friends or relatives then they will receive the gift card in their email so this will be their email settings so you can upload your logo here so i'm going to use the logo of the website so this is the web 
so this is the logo click on insert into post so this logo will be shown in the email logo height width this will be the default image if you want to add any default image you can simply search the image and use that image i'm going to create one gift card for christmas this will be the gift card message length default gift card message and this is the disclaimer text here you will see the mail settings this will be the gift card email subject so this is gift card from this is the site name so it will show the site name sent by from so this from will show the email address of the buyer so if i buy the gift card and i am going to send it to someone else then the relative or the friend will see my email address there so you need to use this short code click save changes delivery method so enable email to recipient and enable download so instead of downloading the gift card i am going to set it to enable email to recipient so i am going to leave it as it is and other settings disable preview button so it will not use the preview disable apply coupon fields check this if you want to disable the apply coupon fields if there are their only gift card products are in the cart so leave it as it is and this is the gift card redeem settings so how you how people will be able to redeem these gift cards so whenever they buy and they go to checkout and at the time of the checkout they will see the option to redeem the gift card or the coupon so they can enter the coupon code there and that much amount will be deducted from their final card value All right now let's go to templates here you will see four different templates let's preview the template one let's use this one two three so these are the templates so here logo of the website will be shown here this is the text message your gift message will appear here and this is the amount coupon code this is how the coupon code will look pf is nothing but the prefix that we used and end date will be shown here this is the email address of the recipient and this is the email address of the buyer okay now let's see the other one the amount message from and to coupon code expiry date and this is the third one so let's go to products and create a new product that will be a gift product i'm going to add a new product here let's name it as new so this is the name of the product and here i'm going to type in some details of the product and here i'm going to add some short description okay now select the category that will be gift card and from here product data select gift card as it is gift card product you need to select it as gift card now this will be the default price 200 i'm going to set it to 200 rupees so here you will see different pricing type the default price price range if you want to range the price between 200 to 500 you can use that also selected price so you can select different price let's say 200 300 400 like this and the next one is user price so user will be able to define the price here if i want to buy a gift card worth rupees 251 i can use that one also so this will be user price and variable price so i'm going to select this one selected price and leave it as it is email template now here you will need to select the email template so these are the email templates that we saw so i'm going to select this one merry christmas now with the free plugin you will get only four different templates okay now let's publish it now let's see how does this look we need to add the product image so i'm going to add a product image here update it now let's refresh it now here you will see the product new christmas gift card this is the new product buy the gift card for friends and relatives this is the short description and here you will see different price ranges so here they can select the price 200 300 or 400 so let's select 300 
Now this is the related product that I created before. This is also a Christmas gift card. Now from this will be the email address of the buyer. So I'm going to use one email address here. Uh, this is the text message that will appear on the gift card. So let me add a new message here. Okay, now delivery method here, they will need to enter the email address of the recipient. So this gift card will be sent to the email address. So let me use one of the email address here. And let's click on add to card. Go to view card. Now here you will see the product has been added to the cart. Now let's click on proceed to checkout. And here you can enter your details and I'm going to place the order. All right, so the order has been placed. Let's go to the orders and see if we can get the orders here. So this is the order. And here you will see the details of the order. And this is the gift coupon code so this email will be sent to the recipient also and recipient will get this christmas gift card and they will see this coupon code of rupees 300 they can use this coupon code while purchasing any product on your website now let me add some products here worth rupees 2000 let's view the card and the total amount is 2200 and I can see apply coupon here. So I'm going to use that coupon code here and click on apply coupon. And here you will see that rupees 300 has been deducted from the total amount. So this is how you can sell the gift cards on your website using the free plugin. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.